Hey beautiful, it's Tania and welcome back to my channel. I do videos to help the women feel encouraged, empowered, and enlightened. So without talking too much, let's get right into today's video. Y'all, we have a whole lot to talk about. In this video, we're about to be slapping demons, sending the devil back to where he came from because I have a lot to say and a lot has been on my mind and a lot has been on my heart. Let me tell you something about how corny the enemy is. As soon as you figure out what your purpose is and you start walking in that purpose, the first thing he's gonna come for is your joy. He's gonna put thoughts in your mind like, is this really what I'm supposed to be doing? Um, is this really uh, glorifying the kingdom? Is, is this really me walking? out what the Lord has told me to do he's gonna put so many doubting thoughts so many double-minded thoughts in your head and it's going to start to be overwhelming and that's when you have to go back to the vision that's when you have to go back to the word that the Lord has showed you because we know from the Bible the Lord is not the author of confusion but that's where the enemy is he loves to make you confused so therefore in your confusion what are you doing you sitting back you're moping you're staying in bed all day you don't even wake up you don't even exercise you don't even take Take care everybody you don't even walk in purpose and vision or calling because you're too focused on being confused and that's where i've been the last few days this place of confusion where the enemy has literally literally been trying to torment my mind because i'm walking in purpose and when i started walking in purpose i became dangerous to him because my purpose is not just for me but it's for other women when i make these videos it's so other women can get out of this enslavement get out of this bondage get out of this slavery mindset and and be woken up to the blessings and the calling and the purpose that God has for their life. So understand this, when you start walking in purpose, the enemy is going to start coming for your joy. In order to remain joyful, one of the things you need to do is remain thankful. Go back to that journal, go back to that place where the Lord has told you the calling and the purpose and the vision and write those things down. And as you're writing, remember the times where God has been good to you. Start writing now. I thank you, Lord, for this. I thank you for that. I thank you for this. I remember last year when I was here and look, I am here now. I remember I prayed to be in the seat I am. I remember I prayed to be the woman that I am now. Get into that state of gratitude and then remember the purpose and the calling that God has put on your life because the Lord is not the author of confusion. So you know where there's confusion, there is chaos, there are some spiritual attacks that the enemy is trying to throw your way. And queen, you need to wake up you don't need to sit in that you don't need to stay in that but you need to keep operating because the enemy does not bother people that are not a threat to him oh praise the lord did you hear me the enemy does not bother people that are not a threat to him so before you started walking in purpose you were no threat to him you were good you were chill you were able to do your thing and you didn't have you know no no attacks or nothing but the moment you started walking in purpose the moment you started to pursue that relationship with god and started to do the things that a woman of god a righteous woman a woman of noble character does the enemy started to try to attack you and why because he doesn't want to see you operating in the character of Jesus he doesn't want to see you walking in purpose he doesn't want to see you walking and calling he wants you to stay stuck and stay in this slavery bondage mindset so ladies wake up don't sit in that don't stay in that because your purpose is not just for you but it's for everybody it's for other women you I read this in Sarah Jake's books it says your story your testimony the, the life, whatever you've gone through in life is literally just a mirror for another woman to help pull her out of bondage, to help pull her out of depression, to help pull her out of anxiety. So don't fear back and don't hold back in walking in purpose and in calling and in vision because it's important and it's not just for you, but it's for another woman. And that's all I have to say today, y'all. Today was a short video, but uh, Stella got her groove back. Tania got her groove back back because we are no longer going to allow the enemy to stop us and hold us stagnant in a place where we are operating and walking in our callings and purpose the way we're supposed to be the calling and purpose that god has given us the purpose that god said i'll fulfill for you but queen you got to get your feet moving you have to start doing what you're doing so he can do what he does we're called to be obedient he's called to do the results we don't have to worry about the results all we need to do is operate in obedience and speak the word declare the the word and walk where the Lord has called us to do okay I'm done I'm done y'all so let's let's pray dear Lord Jesus we thank you 
for your power. We thank you that we are no longer allowing the enemy to have a playing field, to play games, and to torment our mind, to keep us stagnant and not walking in purpose and vision and calling. We are women of influence. We are women with a destiny. We are women with callings on our life, and we are women that are going to make hell pay, hell shake, and the enemy weep in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that you are ordering our steps, that you are guiding us, that you are leading us to where we need to be going in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing shall hold us back. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. We are your daughters. We are queens and we will walk and live as such. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. And if you haven't already, queen, go ahead and like this video and subscribe and send it to a friend that's been having games going on and the enemy playing with their mind and uplift her and get her out of that place because she has work that needs to be done. We have work that needs to be done, queen. So get out of the bed, get out of that depression, get out of that anxiety realize those are not things that the Lord has sent your way. They are demonic spirits that the devil has sent to distract you. Let's have a great day today, ladies. And like always, I love y'all. Be blessed.